how to personalize your core emails for local businesses. Let's take two minutes to analyze this statement. Let's start with the word personalize. Personalization is what makes your message authentic. Rather than sending a generic message like, oh, you are a company, you want to make more money, click here. We are going to make our message as specific as possible to our recipient's current situation. And to do this personalization, even more so for cold emails, we need data. That's where web scraping comes in. We can scrape the company name, phone number, number of reviews, and any other information that will enable us to apply relevant variables. Finally, the term local businesses is important because a local company has very little news, unlike a large company, which is generally much more active on social networks. In this case, we have access to more interesting variables for our customization. In this video, we will look at different ways of applying these variables. The very first thing we have to do is to collect our data. And for example, if we want to target a small or medium-sized companies, the best platform to find this data is Google Maps. So I'm going to make my Google Maps search. Restaurants near Nashville, Tennessee, USA. So I can try to do the scraping by myself, but it is a time consuming method and it will be very likely I will get tons of errors that I will have to handle. I don't have time for that. What I'm going to do instead is to use a template, a pre-made template. Let's check if there is something relevant based on Google Maps. Um, why not that one? So I have to insert my keyword. The keyword is this part, number of pages. I think it is the number of companies. So let's say 100. I give a name to my task and I click on start. Standard mode and I simply have to wait for a bit of time and the more data fields the more columns I will get the more I will be able to create relevant variables so we will see what we will have got we've got a hundred and eighty seven data rows so it's better than expected why not I export my data in an Excel or CSV file so let's double check the data we've got a lot of them like the company names the number of reviews the ratings the address the URL of some pictures and opening hours something like this okay so based on these columns we are going to apply our variables here is how so what I'm going to do is to write a bit of code in order to create free personalized messages here they are obviously you can do it in another way in my case I'm going to use a library called pandas I've also imported open pxl if I need to manipulate excel files and it's pretty much like if you do it directly on excel but in my opinion, this method is better because it's more intuitive. All right, let's get started. First of all, I import pandas as pd and I create what we call a data frame. So pd.read excel. I import my Excel file and I've got 187 rows. So let's take the first message as an example. Hey name, meaning the company's name. Just tried to call you on phone number but couldn't get through. Figured it might be better to email you. The first question we ask ourselves is do we have a variable name and do we have a variable phone number? The name is the title in our case and the phone number is the colon which is entitled phone. And we pandas we can perfectly select a specific colon all I have to do is to write the name of my colon actually so if I want to select the title I do DF title now let's assume I want to create my message in another colon so I'm going to type another colon which doesn't exist yet something like DF comment for the moment let's say it's equal to zero as you can see we've got 43 colons now here is my colon comment. So this colon comment is equal to hey, hey plus df title and we've got hey plus the title. Let's make a line break just here. If I want to make a line break I do plus backslash n. Just try to call you an. Just try to call you an. And let's ending up with the phone number plus df phone. It looks 
Good. Let's save our data frame now. DF2XL or 2CSV actually. It depends on the format you prefer. 2XL, I'm going to call it restaurant nashville.xlsx. We don't have any errors. We've got something which is personalized each time. All right, let's take our second example now, which is that one. We ask ourselves the same question. Do we have access to all of these parameters. Hey name, so that you had number of reviews, five star reviews for your business type in location, that's awesome. The name, it is a title. The business type, it is, uh, is it located somewhere? So I cannot see every columns. So let's say DF two columns and two list, if I'm not mistaken, like this. No, it's not two columns. Okay, maybe it's just columns actually. Yes, it was just columns. We have the category here, so there is no problem. The location, the address, but do we have access of the number of five star reviews? We don't. We only have access to the number of reviews, but we don't have any more details, which means that unfortunately we cannot apply this second message. Bye bye. Can we write the third personalized message instead? Hey name, I was looking for business type around specific location and so your five star reviews. We have the name, we have the business type, and let's assume that the specific location is this part only. So we don't have exactly that specific location criteria, but we can create it because it is based on another column that already exists. All we have to do is to apply a regex or to say that we want to split our text based on this comma just here and it should do the job. Let's create another colon then which should be called specific location. We say df specific location which is based on the colon address and if we want to split our text we type dot string dot split based on a comma and if we want to get the first part we say dot string dot get zero because we end up with a list so we get the first item only did it work it did work let's change our comment data field hey name i was looking for i was looking for the business type which is category around around specific location df specific location and let's add a dot ah what happened i didn't type it correctly Correctly specific. It's better. We have something else. Let's save it. And everything sounds good to me. As we have seen, this method actually works. But let's be honest, it's not an ideal one. It looked more like a DIY. It's something I've done based on the knowledge I already have. But the point is, we don't have to get this technical knowledge. And maybe we don't have the time to apply it. And it raises the question, is there an easier solution? Something that will allow us to get the same result or maybe a better result without all these technical difficulties and without spending hours on it. And yes, there is a solution and it is called Scrap.io. Scrap.io is the ultimate weapon for web scraping on Google Maps. And given that all personalization starts with data, it is the ideal tool. This time, you won't need to manipulate data because there are a lot of columns. There are about 70 of them. For example, in terms of location, we don't just have the address. We have the address and we have the address divided into different parts. And that is just one example. We have access to lots of other data like email address, metadata, social networks and so on. So we have access to lots of other variables. We can personalize our messages in plenty of different ways. Perhaps it's best if I show you how to use the tool. In the meantime, feel free to click on the link in the description for free access to your first 100 leads. I will see you on Scrap.io. Once we have created our 
account, we end up with this layout. I'm located within the search tab and it is a place in which I will be able to collect all my leads. All I need to specify is an activity, meaning a profession, and different location criteria. Let's take our previous example. I'm looking for a restaurant. Obviously, I can pick up another category if I want to. Again, there are 4,000 different categories listed on Google Maps. And if I want to choose Nashville, I have to change the country as well. Dates, there we go, and Nashville. And when I click on search, I will be able to determine how many leads I will be able to retrieve. So we will see if we can get more or less than 187 leads, which is the number of leads we have got using the template. Let's take a look. And actually, there are a lot more. Please note that you can also scrape data based on an entire country, but also on an entire state or an entire country, depending on your subscription plan. I have an overview of what my result uh, looks like. For now, I can filter my data out. So we have a couple of criteria. For example, I only want to have access to restaurants with at least one email address, with social media links, with a specific price range, with a range for the number of reviews, with ad pixels on the websites, and so on. So I make my choice, I click on filter, and I will get more accurate results. If everything sounds good to me, I click on export. Advanced options, and I can check some columns to export. So so as you can see, we've got around 70 columns in total. But in my case, I've only chosen to get some columns because I only need a couple of columns to create our personalized message. I want to get the first 30 data rows in my case. And I click on export. Now I am located within the My Exports tab and I simply have to wait. I can update my task if they are at least one month old and I can download what I've got in a CSV or Excel file. I'm going to get both the CSV and the Excel file. We will see why in a minute. So let's do it. So again, please note that we only have access to a couple of columns. And uh, let's double check it. So we've got the location data fields, which is good. And we have access to the number of reviews per score, which is important because based on this column, we will be able to write this personalized message. You remember we have to determine exactly what is the number of five stars reviews. Based on this column, it now becomes possible. The address, email, and that's it for now. So how can I write my personalized message without writing the code we have done previously? Well, maybe I can achieve a similar result and even a quicker result by using AI. If I write the correct text in ChatGPT, will I be able to get the result I want? Because here is a problem. The first thing I want to do is to get only this part of the data to get 5,284. So I can write a regex, of course, to identify that specific text. But again, I think I can do it in an easier way. And this is what we are about to see right now. Here we are on ChatGPT. I've selected the ChatGPT 4 and I've picked up the premium plan because to be honest, I had a lot of problems uh, with the free plan. And when I switch uh, to the premium plan, these problems have magically disappeared. So what should I write here? Well, first I have to import my CSV file and I have to write my text, my prompt. And the prompt I'm going to write is that one. From this CSV file, create a number five stars column. From the reviews per score column, which contains the number contained after five and before this sign. Save the file in a CSV format. For example, the example should end up with this value. I'm not an expert in writing prompts, but at least I structured my text a little bit. Here is my task. What should I do? I want to create another column. That's an action verb. Get the data, create a CSV file, do the cooking, do the cleaning, bring me my beer, an action verb. Then you've got the context. So it is from this CSV file with the use of some columns. Very important, the example. Here is what I have in my column review per score. And here is a value I want to get in my column number five stars. Finally, there is the format. Save the file in the CSV format. Let's try it out. To be honest, I don't know if it's gonna work. I didn't try it before. Let's check it out together.
it looks like magic for me. So we can download the updated file and we have access to a preview. Let's check it out. It looks really good. Can we download the file? We can download the file. Good. So I will get a CSV file which is not really visible for a human eye. So what I'm going to do is to transform my CSV into an Excel file. And a few moments later, the number five stars. And everything sounds Correct. Now that we've got an updated file, we are able to write that personalized message. But again, this time we are not going to use the pandas library. We are not going to write any lines of code. We are going to use ChatGPT. So let's create a second text, a second prompt to do the job, to do our job. All right, to end up with this personalized message, we have to write this prompt. At least it is my prompt. From this CSV file, so the updated CSV file, Create a common column from the name, number five stars, main type, and street one columns. The value of the common column must include the following formula. The following formula. Save the file in a CSV format. So again, we've got the task, we've got the context, we've got very important the example, and we've got the format. Let's copy and paste our text. I upload my CSV file and let's cross our fingers. That was even faster this time. Let's check the preview. The preview looks good. I don't know the CSV file. As the last time, I'm going to convert my CSV into an Excel file. It is personalized. That's perfect. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If it's the case, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to take a look at Scrub.io, remember that by creating your account, you have access to the first 100 leads free of charge. And if you have any questions regarding the tool, you can ask them to our customer support. The end.